channel, Clara Wild Angels Podcast here. I'm Clara. I'm Angeline. I'm Lonnie. Today we're here with the Secret Forest Cottage. Now this is Angeline's design. Oh my goodness, this was the most fun I've ever had. Oh, uh, there you go, right away, working with terrain. You know, and I it's, love that. it doesn't come easy because sometimes it's hard to get a tree to grow on a hill. You know what's interesting it about is. the terrain? Terrain is like so subtle. Like, almost too subtle that you just stop working with it. You know what I mean? You know? And it really makes a difference. It makes a huge difference because not every land is going to be flat like a golf course. Right? I need to work on terrain more. Oh, my goodness, girl. It's so much fun. But you got to start small and work your way up. This is so cute, though. You have this little path going on here. I mean, it really reminded me of a fairy tale forest. Right, I see that. You got like petals strewn about and like these nice, you know, different shaped walkways. It's going to end up looking so mysterious. It's and like, I love the curved tree. Well, you really you. worked with them. I love curved trees. I love natural organic shapes. They make me feel so satisfied, I can't even describe it. Right, and I love all that stonework you got going on. Oh my goodness, and you know what? There are snakes in there, because <gasps> anytime you have a clump of stones and there's snakes in the area, there are going to be snakes in the stones. <gasps> no! So yeah, they but they're friendly snakes. They get out of the way when you come through. Well, sometimes that's worse. You want them to just stay put. You know what I mean? You know, because like when a snake gets out of the way, I'm like jumping. It's a jump scare to me. Uh, I agree. Oh, it is a gosh. jump scare. But I'll tell you something else. I made this very private for the woman who's living here. She wanted a very private, you can't see in or out, you know. But then she's got like an open backyard so that you could see. <laughs> Right. You know what I see, though, going on here? Yeah. I love all that f the flowers right there and how you use them as, like, a natural fence. Yeah. I think mean, that's so cute. Well, thank you. I tried so many things. This is it's a witchy mystical. woman. It's mystical. A witchy woman. Oh. oh snails. Oh. Snails are her totem animal. Oh. Why would that be? Think I about that. Know. Some people are like, I have a lion. Why I would think, you have? And you know like, what? And they have like an outgoing personality. Yeah. Well, why would you have a snail? I would guess it's because you carry your home with you wherever you go. <gasps> wow. Right? Oh. That's so cute. That's what so, I would guess. So cute. But I didn't ask her. So like your home is in your heart? Yeah. Are you saying? Oh. Anywhere you go, you're at home. If I had to think about it, I'd be like, oh, they're meticulous and slow. Oh, and that like, could be it, too, though. I didn't yeah. ask her. Oh, these are so cute. These little lanterns you have going on here. These hanging lanterns. Yeah, we had to string up solar power situations and make sure that they wouldn't choke out the trees when they grew. Oh, I see that. And then we had, you know, she was thinking, maybe I should have a will. And I was like, no, you know what? I don't think you should have a will because if you're using magical powers, you don't want to be wishing. You want to be making it happen. True. I see that. You know, so we went with, you know, a more simpler, like, wood so she could have fires when she wants to. Right. I All see. sorts of things. I see. I love that. And I love the color scheme you have going on here. Like pinks and purples and a little bit of delicate blue. Thank you. Love that. And I brought the indoors, the outdoors indoors a lot. Right. And then like the different kinds of windows. I think that is so quirky of a cottage. I love different multiple styles of windows because I feel that if you can get something on the cheap because someone else is refurbishing their right. house. Yeah. Yeah. So true. Getting it on the cheap, y'all. This is an outdoor kitchen. It isn't, but... Well, you'll see. It'll be shut up at the end, but I did a different building style than I normally do. Oh. She now, why do you think to do that? Because she was so particular about the environment that she was in being a part of her space that I left it open longer while I was crafting. I see. Now, this little tree coming in. There is a tree coming right. in. Right. So, it's, built like, it's almost like a tree house on the ground, y'all. Yeah. Oh, how cute. That's cute. These trees are very special to her. She said that they're like her sacred guardians. There goes a the car, y'all. Ignore it. Ignore you know, that. I mean, time. I know I'm not, but you know. It's fun. Exactly. That's cute. Do you keep this little sodden indoors? I don't remember, but I think I do. Cute. In places. Now, let me tell you something else about this space. She has a very large bathroom, but there's only one. Like, normally in a house, I'll make a master bath because I think it's important for someone to have a place to treat themselves. Oh, yeah. But I think for this woman, her small cottage, like, 
it is her master bath because she doesn't have to share her house with anyone else. I don't want to say that. So you she's know. solo. She's living alone, no kids, just her. I think so. I'm, I think I was under the impression that she lives alone, but she has a guest every once in a while. Oh. But she doesn't have like a guest room. Well, hello. You know what I mean. We know what kind of guest it is, y'all. She was very vague. <laughs> I didn't pry, but yeah, exactly. Exactly. You should pry more, Angeline. I really should, but I've been so into my own life that I have forgotten to, like, engage people. True. Me too, y'all. Because there's a lot going on right now. I just want to say, too, oh. though, I love a multi-tone carpet. Right. Love that. And I also love those teal stools you had going on in the kitchen. Thank you. Plus, I love when you do like an eclectic hectic and you mix chairs and it's textures and It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Because you know what? I am, by nature, a forager. You're right. Doris, I hear you. Doris is clip-clopping, y'all. <laughs> Doris It's her is nail day, y'all. She, she is, is so cute. She can't wait to get her nails done. Right. That's my dog. Now... This big bathtub you got going on by windows that are huge. And she's like a secret. Look, she is super privacy. I'm all that about That is view. a goal for me. You know what I mean? So much privacy. She's also not ashamed. She's like, if someone wants to peep in when I'm taking a bath, that's on them. That's true. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed, y'all. But don't be peeping in. That's I agree. That's what I said. Well, and I was like, well, what about, you know, creeps? And she's like, the trees will take care of them. <gasps> what does that mean? I don't know. She's, she's a, a witch. She's a witch. She could just, you know, wrap them up in vines and good day to them, you know? You know, good day to all you, those sir. Trees look a good little, day to you, man. Bye. Right. But all those trees look a little twisty. Do you think that there's people in them? I don't <gasps> even know. I did not think of that, y'all. Whoa. You right? know, I mean, what if I did something accidentally and she had me wrapped up in a tree? I'd find you. Thank you, girl. Uh, Plus, girl. My sister's uh, a witch. I feel so safe. Right? And she'll right. come and get you. Thank you. Guaranteed. I like to no know that. No one's wrapping us up in trees, y'all. No, because, you know what, I feel like trees can see your heart. So they will know. They would know you're they a good person, know. Angeline. There's accidents and there's scrapes. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. And if someone's peeping in your windows while you're taking a bath. If you're peeping and creeping on someone who does not want you to watch them take a bath, get out, sir. <laughs> get out, ma'am. Get out. <laughs> no peeping and creeping up in here. What is this tree What is here? that tree? What is that tree? <laughs> you tell me. You know oh I mean? my goodness. She did not want me to touch that. <gasps> Why not? That's I know people know. are, y'all. Well, did you I touch it? Know. No, I did not touch it. You know when a witch tells you to do something or not do something, you're like, <gasps> mad respect. Would I you have not. done it, Lottie? Would you have touched it? I don't know. I might have. I might have. I love like, that. Like I love with your that. nail or with a, your finger or like my nail, nail man, box, so you're like, and I would have went to my fingertip and yeah. then I would have just what touched my palm to it. If like everything went all in. right in each step. What if it didn't? What if you touch your nail to it and your nail falls off? <laughs> well, then I wouldn't go any further and I'd hope that thing would grow back. You know what I mean? <laughs> it would grow back, girl. You have the most you know? gorgeous nails. Thank They're you. so gorgeous. You so too. You gotta keep I'm crying right now, y'all. I thought that was so funny. It is funny, though. <laughs> right. Because it's like fear, unexpected <laughs> things, they're funny. Exactly. You know, it's like Halloween town up in here, y'all. Now, that sort of carpet. Yeah. Do you, like, go to someone special that weaves that carpet? You know what I did? Tell me. Okay. She had a friend who made all sorts of beautiful artisanal carpets. And I was artisanal like... Artisanal carpets? It's like an artisanal cheese, y'all. You know what I mean? And they were hand-woven from wool and llama fur. Oh. <gasps> llama fur, y'all. Are you kidding me? No. And they were soft, even though they look rough. Really? They were soft. Llama fur. <gasps> yeah. That's interesting, because that seems like that would take a lot of work to make that into a piece of thread, y'all. You know, llama wool, really? llama fur. I don't know what it's called. <gasps> really? Do they molt at all? Do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> They're in warm climates. You know what? Do you are a to? reporter. I should bring you along when we're doing these things because I don't <laughs> even think of these questions. I wonder if they get like a season where it's like more downy, like sort of fur. Oh, like a puppy. You know. Oh, that's the cutest thought. Like a really soft kind and then that's the kind where you sort of like harvest it. And I say harvest in it seems creepy but like just gently brushing it you know you know what I mean and exactly. then harden it who didn't love doing that with their mama 
card and wool, card and wool, and then spin it into the thread. Love that. I mean, you know, at the time, no. No, but now, thinking about yeah. it, I'm right. like, I want my kids to experience that. Exactly. Now, but I love, you know, that log chair. Thank you. It just really added something to that. It really did. And it's such an enchanting space, and you walk up the one path, and then there's the door. I mean, I want to knock on the door. You, you did know? so good here, girl. Thank you. Thank y'all for joining us.